Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. The Democratic Party is busy at work to prevent the excessive power of the Legislative and Judiciary Committee as it hands over the committee chairpersonship to the People Power Party. The ruling party is facing strong opposition and harsh rebuke over giving away the Judiciary Committee chairpersonship to the major opposition party, but the Democratic Party leadership maintains that they can still keep the other party in check by revising the National Assembly law to reduce the committee's overwhelming power. The bereaved families of the Sewol Ferry tragedy victims and civic groups are protesting the Seoul City's attempts to demolish the space in Gwangamun Plaza dedicated to the remembrance of Sewol Ferry victims. City officials demanded to look inside the wooden structure on two visits to the space, but the families opposed the city's unilateral decision to remove exhibits and demolish the space without sufficient discussion with them about the city's future plans. After visiting Seoul last week, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman traveled to Tianjin, China yesterday for talks with Chinese State Councilor and Foreign Minister Wang Yi. But a war of nerves continued between Washington and Beijing, with Wang Yi warning a day before her visit that China would never accept any country that thinks it's superior to other countries, adding that China has the responsibility to teach the U.S. how to treat other countries equally if the U.S. hasn't learned to do so yet. On the other hand, a senior U.S. State Department official reiterated what State Secretary uh, Antony Blinken said about their relationship with China being, quote, competitive when it should be, collaborative when it can be, and adversarial when it must be. Explaining Sherman will discuss all three aspects of the relationship on her visit. Finally, NASA has selected Elon Musk's SpaceX to launch its scientific probe of the Jupiter moon Europa. Its $4.25 billion Europa Clipper spacecraft will launch atop the Falcon Heavy rocket in October 2024, and its journey is expected to take more than five years, some 630 kilometers, million kilometers from Earth. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next... A special interview with the Spanish ambassador to South Korea on President Moon Jae-in's recent visit to Spain. <laughs> 